Hello, I'm Helen Yu at Dell Tech World. I have Vasudev Lau here with me, Principal AI Research Scientist, Cognitive AI at Intel Labs. Hi, Vasudev. It's so great to see you again. Yeah, it's so good to see you. Well, tell us more about what you do and more about Intel Labs. Yeah, so uh, I work at Intel Labs, uh, where I'm a Principal AI Research Scientist. I lead this team that's called Multimodal Cognitive AI. And you know we've been very interested in building multimodal AI systems uh, that we use in body based clusters. Um, and you know we we do large self supervised training of models on language and uh, vision data or video and language data. Yeah, so it's so good to good to meet you here. Well, likewise, I enjoyed your presentation earlier. Thank you. And uh, not everybody understands Gaudi, right? So yeah. tell us more. What is Gaudi, and then how did the name come about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, Intel Gaudi is a dedicated AI training and inference AI accelerator. Uh, it's designed specifically only to accelerate deep learning training and inference workloads. And it's a funny thing that you ask about the name because the name is actually inspired by a very famous architect, mm -hmm. um, Gaudi, um, who was Spanish. Um, and interestingly, uh, you know, he was very active in, in the Barcelona region in Spain. And one of the first Gaudi clusters that was built inside Intel was actually called Barcelona. Mm. So, so, so we really took inspiration from the architect of, uh, of, uh, uh, of Gaudi to name the chip uh, Gaudi. Well, I love the name. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. And then you mentioned a little bit about AI library earlier. I heard about TensorFlow, right. PyTorch. Yeah. Tell us what part of AI libraries are being supported by God. Yeah, yeah. So, so Intel has uh, teamed up with a lot of uh, the ecosystem partners to make sure that there's very robust software support around Intel Gaudi. So, I'll talk a little bit about a few of these ecosystem partners that uh, you know my team itself has um, utilized these libraries. So we make a lot of use of PyTorch Lightning, mm -hmm. which is a very popular framework. Oh, I heard about that at a keynote today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So PyTorch Lightning is a very, very popular framework for doing large scale training. Mm -hmm. And there is native support for body in PyTorch Lightning, uh, where you can simply import a module um, that will let you run your PyTorch Lightning recipes on a Gaudi AI Ancillator. And uh, by doing that, uh, if you have a PyTorch training recipe that works on, you know, some other competitor's GPU, mm -hmm. uh, you only have to change a couple of lines mm -hmm. to get that oh, training uh, recipe working on the Intel Gaudi platform. So, um, similarly, Intel has partnered with Microsoft mm -hmm. to make sure that Gaudi has native support in the DeepSpeed mm -hmm. library. And you know my team uh, very regularly uses Deep Speed on mm -hmm. on Gaudi two AI accelerators, and Intel also has a very strong partnership with Hugging Face to ensure that Hugging Face's library uh, works on Intel Gaudi two. And you know I would describe Hugging Face as the GitHub for AI mm -hmm. models. Mm -hmm. So with this particular library, which is uh, code developed by Hugging Face and mm -hmm. Intel, and it's called. Habana optimum, um, um, like virtually the thousands of models which are present in Hugging Face can performantly, performantly run on, on Gaudi. That's exciting. I'm a fan of Hugging Face, right? Yeah. I mean, three line code change is really top of mind for all the developers. So thank you for what you do. So what are the capabilities and features in Gaudi that your team at Intel Labs leveraging the most? Yeah, yeah. So uh, Gaudi 2 itself has 96 GB of HVM. Uh, and Body 3, as you saw today, uh, is going to have 128 GB of, uh, of high bandwidth memory. Mm -hmm. And this large amount of high bandwidth memory is actually very important because like, you know, if my team is uh, doing large scale training, mm -hmm. uh, we are able to really exploit the large HBM on Gaudi 2 for increasing the model size during training or increasing the batch size during training. Mm -hmm. uh, the large HBM will also allow uh, the inference of large models mm -hmm. before they need to be split up across multiple cards. Oh. So we very regularly exploit the fact that uh, oh. Gaudi 2 has mm -hmm. uh, really high uh, HPM. Uh, we also really exploit the fact that 
different Gaudi to AI accelerators are connected to each other uh, using standard Ethernet technology. Um, Gaudi 2 has uh, 24 NICs, 24 e Ethernet ports on the board itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, using these NICs, you can scale out to really large clusters. And what we've seen in our team is that as we scale out training from, let's say, one Gaudi 2 card to eight Gaudi 2 cards mm -hmm. in a node, and multiple nodes, uh, you know, that span hundreds of Gaudi 2 accelerator cards, we get really high scaling efficiency. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that is really important yeah. um, because as we scale high, uh, yeah. we we typically would want a scaling efficiency that's as close to 100% as possible so that we're really utilizing the, the compute on the Gaudi mm -hmm. AI access. That's how you can really accelerate AI adoption. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Fantastic. So what are the new features in Gaudi 3 that does not exist to, in Gaudi 2 today? Yeah, yeah. So so uh, Gaudi 3 has higher uh, HPM, higher, uh, uh, higher uh, high bandwidth memory. Mm -hmm. um, so 96 GB of Gaudi 2 goes to 128 GB in Gaudi, Gaudi 3. Um, and we're also very excited about the raw performance of Gaudi 3. Mm -hmm. So the projections are that Gaudi 3 will be about, you know, 50% faster mm -hmm. training uh, models, especially popular LLMs, mm -hmm. like the Llama 2 family of models, Llama 3 family of models, mm -hmm. compared to H100. Mm -hmm. So we are really excited to sample that speed with Gaudi wow. 3. Wow, Gaudi 3 is already performing really well, yeah. right? So excited to see what the Gaudi 3 yeah. can do for us. Yeah. Yeah. For my last question yeah. is, can you, you know, really share a case study elaborating uh, Gaudi's role in transforming in in more facilitating Gen AI transformation. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, at, at Intel, um, you know, we ourselves are a huge consumer of AI workloads. Uh, you know, as you know that at Intel, uh, there's a lot of images collected during the whole semiconductor manufacturing process, and uh, over the past few quarters, a lot of teams have started building. Uh, AI systems, Gen AI systems that are leveraging the data created at Intel itself. Mm -hmm. And many of these teams are actually using Gaudi 2. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been very exciting to see how uh, we can scale up Gaudi 2 e even within Intel and provide a lot of innovation and efficiency improvement in the way the whole manufacturing process works at Intel. Um, yeah, Deloitte was, was up on the stage and sharing their success right, collaborating right. with uh, Intel today. Right, right, right. Yeah, and and uh, you know we've uh, worked very closely with a third party mm -hmm. to benchmark performance of mm -hmm. Gaudi 2. Uh, so one was uh, uh, you know we've um, we've had joint blogs with Hugging Face. So mm -hmm. my team itself. At Intel Labs, we published a joint blog with Hugging Face mm -hmm. that benchmarks the training performance of multimodal transformers, mm -hmm. vision language transformers on Intel Gaudi 2 versus uh, the leading GPUs from competition. Um, and uh, there's a very similar study done by Databricks recently mm -hmm. uh, that sampled uh, Gaudi 2 clusters in our Intel Developer Cloud uh, that, that also reported how uh, the performance per dollar on mm -hmm. Intel Gaudi 2 exceeds that of leading uh, uh, leading uh, GPUs from mm -hmm. competition uh, in raw performance. So, so we are very excited about these third party studies. Well, congratulations on all the achievement you have, you know, the Thank milestone you. you have achieved. Uh, I can't wait to see what's ahead, right? Yeah. It's Intel and Gaudi 3. Yeah. So thank you so much for spending time with us. Yeah, thank and, you, Helen. I yeah. look forward to seeing you again. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Take thank care. You. Bye.